Hey friends, how you doing? So this is not the video I was supposed to be making today, but I've recently, I'm going to be starting a new job soon and I need to have a watch so I can keep track of what the time is. And I thought, hey, this would be a good little watch to have. Why not flex some Game Boy stuff at work? It arrived just now, just a couple hours ago, and I'm already disappointed. <laughs> I've opened it up and had a quick look and you can probably even see right there, it's not on. And this is brand new, and it's just arrived, and the battery's already dead. So, I had a quick look online to see if I could see any videos on how to replace the battery, just to get some insight, and there's nothing. So, there's just a couple of reviews and whatnot, so I thought, hey, I'm going to try and replace the battery in this thing, um, so it actually works. And some of the reviews I saw after I bought it aren't very good, so I want to see if it is good or not. So I'm gonna have a quick look at this and show you how to replace the battery. It's It seems like it'd be a really good product, like it's licensed by Nintendo and everything. So, and the packaging's really nice, like plastic acrylic e-box, and there it is. So, it does smell weird, like it's rubber, and it just smells a bit funky. <laughs> But, alright, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the battery in it. It says on the back of the packaging that it's a 2032 battery, which is included. So I was having a look. It's in the watch, obviously. It also says multiple places that you need a watch repair center to replace the battery. There's no usable user serviceable parts inside. But I'm not going somewhere to tell them to fix my $20 watch. So let's give it a go, I reckon. There's just four screws on the back, so I'll undo those. The quality of them, of the screws, it doesn't feel very nice. And there you go, so that's the little back cover off. And then that shows the battery there, I'll zoom in a bit more. So there you go, a little battery there. So I was having a look at how to actually get to it, because obviously you can't get to it this way. So you can see underneath the little straps, there's two screws holes there. And two there. And I was like, well, I have no clue how to take these straps off. So I was messing with them, trying to like shove them out of the way. And it turns out they just spring off, just like that. You can see, hopefully, that that little bit, it's just springy. It pushes in. So you do that on both sides. And it shows the screws. So then I'll undo those screws as well to get access to everything else. After that's done, we can take this back bit off and it shows everything there. I'm going to undo these two screws, a tiny one there and a tiny one there to get to the battery. And then I will test it with a multimeter to make sure that it is dead. And the thing is though, these batteries, button batteries, last a good while. Yet, it's dead. I don't understand why. The back of the packet says 2018 Nintendo. Oh, well, there you go. That's obviously the tab for the battery there, which is dead flat almost. And you can see there's barely any lift up of that little tab just there, so I might have to bend that up as well. But for now, I'll grab the multimeter. Got that set to 20 underneath, on top. 0.3 volts. Okay, I've got another battery here. This is actually a Game Boy Save battery, and it's a CR... 2025 so it nah, it should work the thing is though obviously I'm probably gonna have to get rid of these tabs Because that's where you solder them in this one's a 3 volt battery as well I can test it and prove that it's got the full 3 volts There you go 3.32 so it's literally 3 volts more than the other one So I'm gonna try and put that one in here, before I put, to pull the tabs off and ruin the battery for Game Boys, I just want to make sure it works. So, uh, that little tab there definitely needs to be pulled up because it's way too flat. So I'm just going to pry that up a tiny bit. I don't know if you can see, it's very fiddly. And I'm going to camera doesn't zoom that much. So, I guess just plonk this bad boy in there. Just to test it. Swing this back around and screw it up. Oh, 
Well, obviously it works. That's the backlight coming on. And yeah, flip her over. <laughs> Not on. But if I push, look at that. So it does work. That's the backlight. But if I let go of the back, so it's not enough pressure on it. So I'm gonna adjust this battery by taking off these tabs, because it definitely works. All right, I'm gonna get this battery suited. I'm gonna take off these tabs and then we get it back in there and then it should be sweet. So BRB. All right, I pulled the tabs off the battery. So there's, there's, that's these ones here. So it's just a normal battery now. Um, although it still doesn't work unless I push on the back to make a better contact. So I thought I might just, I have this extra little tab here, it's all bent and stuff. So all I'm gonna do is just put that, I'll go from this side, put that in there, and then slide it straight on through like that. And you can't really tell it's there. And if I turn it over now, boom. So it's working perfectly fine. And one of the reviews I saw on Amazon, because I bought this from eBay, so I couldn't see any of these reviews, but one of the re reviews I saw on Amazon was that if you tap it, it resets, like, easily. So, like, like, I think it, it'll, it'll be fine. So all I'm going to do now is just reassemble it. So that's how you change the battery in it. Obviously, it'd be a lot easier if you have one of these normal batteries just to plonk it back in there. But I wasn't going to go out and go get a new battery for it when I had those spare Game Boy batteries lying around and I thought, hey, it should work. So all I'm going to do now is just put it all back together. Okay, I've got to set the time and everything on it, but other than that, like, it's... It's very small, but it's also bulky at the same time. Like, look at the size of, like, the thickness of it. If I put it on my wrist and hold it there, it's very massive. But when you compare it to an actual DMG, it's small on the screen. Okay, the only complaints I have about it is it smells funny, which is, yep, it smells funny. The, <laughs> the quality of it doesn't feel that good. Like, it's a very, it feels like a very cheap plastic. And the screws, I'm pretty sure some of the screws are just free spinning, like they didn't actually tighten all the way. But, um, I mean, it's a cool looking watch. I appreciate that it's licensed by Nintendo. I've got to test it out properly to see how it'll last. But I can't also, I can't imagine these little screws on the back are going to be that comfortable after a while sitting on your wrist. But apparently it's got an alarm on it and I want to hear what the alarm sounds like. So I'm going to figure out how to get the alarm going and then I'm going to play the alarm. Okay, so it should be on. Can you hear that? Well, that's not as loud as I thought, but apparently that plays for ages. Okay, those reviews must be stupid because that's not that bad. I just got to test this out. Like, as I said, it arrived today. So I have no clue what it's going to be like, but yeah, um, I'm going to have it, I'm going to wear it for a few weeks and see how we go. But um, thanks for watching this video anyway, it's just a quick video on how to change the battery because I found, I kind of found that laughable that a brand new watch rocked up with the battery dead, especially because those batteries last forever. Thanks for watching, um, please like, subscribe if you enjoy this type of stuff and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, goodbye. Almost forgot the best bit. There you go, that's crisp. They don't make that easy to get off.